Welcome back to the Vantora training videos. Uh, today we're going to look at the basic setup of your Vantora system. So the first thing you need to do is um, go to the URL that we've assigned for you, which is going to be uh, vantora.com slash paintball slash the name of your business or URL. So for example, paintball slash gatsplat, paintball slash uh, Avid Extreme Sports, whatever the name of your domain is, is normally what you use. If you just go to that, you'll see that we have a, a little area where your logo is and a, a book online reserve now and fill out waivers. These are links that go there. So you can use these uh, these icons if you want. You can point people to this or you can just grab these, these pictures and links to put on your page. To actually sign in, then you just follow that with an admin, A-D-M-I-N, and it will ask you for your username and password. So we're going to uh, pretend the name of our site is Demo. We'll do this Demo Paintball site here. If you forget your password, it's as easy as just clicking. You put in your email, hit reset your password, and it'll take care of that for you. It'll send you out the, the necessary email where you can respond, and then it'll reset a password for you. So for um, our example here, we're going to use Demo as the username. We put in our password, and then we log on. So what this does for us is it takes us straight into the admin section. We always start with the registration section. That's where we have it by default send you because after you're up and using the system, that's where you're going to go the most. That's where you're going to look at your registrations, see who's booked in, um, etc. You'll see that our, our logo is up here at the top. There's a logo size that we have to have. We'll normally set this up for you, but if you do want to change it, you do want to make any modifications to your logo or whatever, it needs to be 180 pixels wide by 90 pixels high. This logo is used in a lot of places. Not only will it show up on the site here, but it's also going to show up on your emails. So for example, here's a Jeremy 2 paintball logo. Uh, if we were using that, it's going to show up on the emails that get sent out. It will also show up on your uh, resume. Reservations. Um, it'll show up uh, if we want to reserve now. You'll see it's up at the top here. Here's the logo. Uh, if somebody does a waiver, it's going to show up at the top of the waiver. So uh, stick to that format, 180 by 90, and that's a uh, transparent GIF because sometimes it's on a white background, sometimes it's on colored background, so that works out the best. So now let's log into this darn thing. So we go to vantor.com slash paintball slash demo, and now we go to our admin. After you've logged in, it keeps you logged in. Let's take a look at the basic settings. If we click on settings here, we'll see there's some things that we can't change, like the site GUID. Here's things we can change, the name of the site. So demo paintball is what we're calling it here. It might be Gatsplat. Uh, maybe you want the word paintball in there, maybe not. It's just whatever's going to show up throughout your emails, etc. What's the name of your company? Uh, the home URL, this is uh, what the domain is for your website because uh, we'll run links that, that head in that direction at different spots. The Vantora URL, this we set up for you. You don't have to change this. This is again going to be the Vantora.com slash paintball slash the name of your company or your domain. Then we have country. Country is kind of interesting. Um, we only service two countries right now, the United States and Canada. Uh, if you are in the United States, then we need our states, which is, you know, Alabama, Alaska, etc., and people can scroll through to pick their states. If we uh, change it to Canada, then you have to save your changes. You'll see that it changes to the uh, provinces, so we have uh, the, the different provinces that people can choose from the drop-down. Not only does this change for you, but it changes for your customer. So we're going to make the assumption throughout that uh, since I'm in the United States, and if uh, I'll save that now so it goes back to states, and if I put Arizona in here and I save those changes that were in Arizona, then when people go to fill out waivers, when they go to fill out reservations, any place where we're asking for their state, it's going to automatically assume they're in the same state. Now, obviously, they can override that, but it will save them some time and type and scrolling and all that type of stuff so we will use that um, throughout so you just fill in your address here accordingly hit save changes and that's it so there's the basic section just for uh, logging in the uh, use of your logo and the basic settings uh, continue on with the rest of the videos and we'll show you some more settings